Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. A sluggard's appetite is never filled, but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so are sluggards to those who send them. Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. The lazy do not roast any game, but the diligent feed on the riches of the hunt. Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. The way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He will not even bring it back to his mouth. One who is slack in his work is brother to one who destroys. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. Sluggards do not plow in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies will have their fill of poverty. The craving of a sluggard will be the death of him, because his hands refuse to work. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. The one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven people who answer discreetly. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless go hungry. As a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on his bed. Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever.